you have 100% authority, correct? In in which part? Yeah. Right. After yeah. the semen leaves me and goes into you, who has the authority? Me. The woman. Okay. But, but you, you have the authority, authority in the first, in the first half, place. Like, right. like him. Because you like him. Okay. But here, but, but that's who, has, like, that's who like, has the ultimate authority of who has sex? Ultimately. You're saying ultimately, but it's it, there's so many factors that play in that one situation, which mm -hmm. is why the situation does not, it doesn't, it's not a good Let's example. This, this is very black and white and objective here. That's, Let's get out the feelings. Who has the authority in the man having sex? I want to ask like a what? real question though. Let me finish this. Who has the authority, men mm -hmm. or women? Yes or no? In how women women have the authority. Sick. Okay. Now, you guys are aware of the fact that with authority comes what? Responsibility. Responsibility. So you cannot have 100% authority and then come back and say, well, I only have 50% of the responsibility. No, when you take 100% authority, you get 100% responsibility. But the system that we have doesn't have that. You have 100% authority, but you can choose and pick your responsibility to be 50% because you can put the man on child support, right. even though he has no say in it, but I cannot force you to keep the child. It's simple logic, guys. See, right. but the way that you're describing it is like abortion is the like, even... end-all, be-all of that pregnancy process. There are multiple steps that go into right. a pregnancy. Part of it is under That's... your control. Part of it is under my control. Right. So when I decide to keep that baby and put that responsibility on you, it's still 50-50, just like it was to conceive and follow through with the birth of wait, wait, wait. You had 100% of the authority in the decision. You did at no, one point as well. No, you did at one point. That's what I'm you saying. It's a transfer of power right. because I couldn't make you ejaculate in my body. You right. chose to do that and then you passed okay, the power but wait, wait, wait. So Okay, so can I ask my question now? Because I'm really going to answer now. I understand. Um, right. uh, okay, so, but, but what you're telling me right now is if that you're having sex with a man who is not your boyfriend, right. let's just say we're just fucking, right? right? And he ejaculates in you, you're he's going to leave that room and you're going to be like, oh, well, fuck it, he ejaculated in me, so I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm confused. What did you want me to do about it? Wait, um, there's store. The, first of all, there's contraceptive. Like, if you're not using a condom, uh -huh. if you're not going to use a condom, right? There's Plan B. There's birth yeah, control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Well, first, but but first of all, you shouldn't be letting no man that is not your boyfriend or your significant other ejaculate right, in you. But right. Or you need no condom. I ain't nobody's an baby mama, and I don't have no kids. Me so neither. This don't really apply to me whatsoever. Right. But I'm Speaking saying in general, the world has revolved around that, you. Okay. I'm just saying I don't have no kids. I'm not a baby mom, so I'm not talking about myself, obviously. Right. But, well, yeah, but no, I am no. saying that when you have sex with somebody, and again, this is why we should be careful with who we have sex with. Right. I'm totally on right. board with that. I am all for that. Right. But if we're talking about in the context of women having rights and the, the final say-so and choice of abortion, you have to account for the fact that that man had a choice and a say-so when right. he decided to have sex with you and right. not only that, right. decided to ejaculate yeah, in you. Have but you, had a but you also too. have a choice yes. too. I never said I didn't have a choice. Okay. Okay. I never said I didn't have a choice. I said the power split is 50-50 right. because I'm well, talking about wait, two wait, parts. Okay. Wait, 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 I'm talking wait, about two different parts. parts. There are more love, forms love. of ch contraception, bro. Correct. Like, there's literally right. more than Baskin Robbins flavors. Correct. And you're over here telling me, oh, no, I had a choice. Again, this goes back to the guys, ladies, focus, man. I'm simply saying there's no rights and privileges that a man enjoys that a woman does not. And I gave the example of abortion. You guys are stuck on the fact that we're talking about abortion and changing the whole situation. I'm simply saying you can abort the child, but I can't keep the child. Therefore, that's a right and privilege that I don't enjoy as a man when you guys are trying to sit here and tell me that women are oppressed. You guys are not oppressed. You guys have more rights and privileges than us. And I simply gave abortion as an example. Correct. Which was a terrible one. Right. Well, I'm not going to agree. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that example was... <laughs> that, it was right. The reason, that was, the reason was why not. the example doesn't work is because it's a controversial topic regardless right. of what uh, we're talking about mm -hmm. in terms of abortion. It's mm -hmm. a sensitive topic. It's controversial. Mm -hmm. Two, why, I just sat, here, I just sat here even, and gave you an example of where you held power right. and choice mm -hmm. right. in that instance. Pregnancy is not right. a one com like a one step process. There is... Con you're being like you conceive the child you carry through the pregnancy you have the child right there are multiple elements that go into a pregnancy it, i couldn't force right. you to you're more focused on the pregnancy than the fact that i said that well women no because i kept telling you that you had a choice right. women have the ultimate right when it comes to pregnancy and abortion women have unilateral control over who is born in the united states and men do not but okay. i feel like that's okay. artificial okay to, okay then to end that men have <laughs> complete control of impregnating women right and you have okay, every fine, you have fine, complete right. control of removing that ejaculation from your body like right, right. right. So, but, so you're telling me right if you got grits are you gonna keep it no, I'm okay not. Okay, then, baby, so that's, that's the whole, the whole point. point. You 